This is week 25. Trinity already laid her egg before I got out here. And one of the others did too. And I think, I think it might've been Phoenix. I'm gonna show it to you. It's a really neat looking egg. Look at how freckled it is. <laughs> the one on the right, the brown one is Trinity. And this, I think, is Phoenix. And I don't know why it's freckled. I'm sure there's a technical reason, but it's kind of neat looking. All right, <laughs> waddle on in. So I have this in here now, and that is their curtain. And what I did was I just tacked this up. I usually tack this up during the day so they'll go in there at night because they're not quite used to it. So I left it like that overnight and they came out on their own before I got out here, which was really neat. So what I will end up doing is putting a waterer in here so that they have water. Right now, when they come into this part, they don't have water because this, um, this door is shut to keep predators out. <laughs> if I left that open, anything that wanted to come in could. Because look at this big gap. You see that gap? I'm sure a skunk or could fit under that, you know if it was a small enough skunk um, or maybe a well other predators wouldn't be able to but a skunk probably could squish small enough I mean a cat that's a small enough cat could do that and obviously mice and rats could go through here but even with this door shut mice can get in here because you know they can they can squeeze through this <laughs> no problem and there are a couple other little gaps here and there that's like, they could get through that. And today, I'm taking this heat lamp out. It's no longer needed. It might be needed in, you know, 10 months. It's not needed now. And I'm gonna take out all of the cardboard that we have on the roof in there. I have a video showing that. Just go in the, just go in there. Hold on a second. Just go in there. Anyway, there's, I'm going to take out all that cardboard because I think it's going to insulate this way too much in the summer months. There she goes. I think it's going to insulate it too much in the summer months. And also, I remember last year when we first got the coop and I had it sitting out in the sun, didn't have any chickens yet, wasps started trying to nest right up there. That is something I'm going to have to watch come this summer. And I don't want cardboard in there as just another layer where they could you build their nest? <laughs> like, no. I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Well, that was remarkably easy. And the staples either came out with the box or stayed securely in the coop. So that's pretty cool. And now, of course, 
they're gonna help me. <laughs> Are you helping? All right, so this is what it looks like without the cardboard. And I doubt that I will ever put cardboard on here again. But when I put them in here, they were very young and I was worried that it was going to be too cold. But now that they're big, I, I don't think that's a worry. Plus, you know, I have this heater that I can use. You know what, I'm gonna take that out too. I don't need that anymore this year. It's not going to get into the teens anymore. And even if it does, that coop stays relatively warm for chickens, not for Jira. Yes, I'm gonna throw that away because they're just trying to eat it. It came off so easily that it's probably a good idea I was doing this um, because I think they were pecking at it anyway. Stop it, destructo chicken. Yep, and I gotta clean her boo already. Basically, she just gets this track of poop down the back side of her because I've watched her. When she, <laughs> really? When she poops, it just stays there. It doesn't fall on the ground. It's really annoying. <laughs> Startled yourself. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Who, who me? I, don't, I would never laugh at you. Never. Don't be silly. Okay, I feel pretty good. We're ready for spring. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to do. I'm going to move that. I'm going to try and put it here. I'm going to hang it here for a day and see if that works or not. I attempted to move the feeder under here. I tapped on it and um, the bottom completely fell out. So that's pretty cool. So now that's what's going on. So I'm just gonna leave that there because there's no way I can clean it all up. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this and dump it back into the can. <sighs> Dang it. I know that they'll eat that at least. It won't <laughs> stop that, PK. She's always pecking at my arm. Yeah, I gotta put this back in. We don't wanna waste it. See how much that is. That's quite a bit. I don't even think that they would eat that all today. So I might see if I can get some of this picked up uh, and put it back into the container. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, it's empty. <laughs> what the heck? I will experiment hanging up there. <laughs> feed her in here another day. Yeah. Can you, uh, can you go eat all that? It's like I'm not hungry, which is a complete lie. Don't lie to me. PK, for crying out loud. I know, I love you too. It's like that's not it. circling something over there. And I figure I'd get the chickens back in here so they don't, you know, make this a target area.
and I can't tell how big the hawk is or what it really is. You know what I mean? I can't tell if it's a danger to the chickens or not. A couple of days ago, a hawk flew overhead, but a neighborhood crow scared it away. So we like the crows. We do. You be nice, Trinity. I'm watching you.